They always say, write what you know. That's the case for Tom Glazer. He's written Full Heart Living, Conversations with the Happiest People I Know. It's the springboard for an interactive event this Wednesday at Eisenhower Medical Center. Welcome. Thank you. It's great so, to be here, Joe. So let's start off with the definition of what is happy. You know, that's a tricky question. It's kind of like art. We know art when we see it. It's the same thing with happiness. It's, it's subjective. I know when I'm happy, and it changes for people at different times of their lives and with what's going on. It happens so, within an hour, within a, you know, a couple yes, of minutes. Yes, kind of like the weather. The weather can change very rapidly. <laughs> yeah. Our moods can change rapidly, too. So how did you get to this point? Do you have to be unhappy then to realize, I don't like being unhappy and that's part I've of it. gotta do something about it? That's absolutely part of it. That's why I chose the title, Full Heart Living. Happier people live with their full heart. Sometimes we're not so happy. Less happy people try to resist the unhappy times. Mm -hmm. Happier people embrace the fullness of life. So sometimes we're sad, sometimes we're mad. So uh, this um, interactive event that's happening on Wednesday, what, what do, who, who should go and what should they uh, get from it? Well, uh, it's for nearly anybody. Um, uh, it's about connecting. It's like the fine art of connecting to oneself and to other people. So what I discovered in this project is that happier people, Joe, connect really deeply with themselves and with other people. And I realized really quickly, people don't know how to do that. It's really a sad testament to our current but state. But so why is that? I mean, uh, you know, to, to initiate a conversation and to engage, you know, with another person, why is that so difficult for so many people? I think we have become obsessed with our devices. You know, they're very helpful, they're very useful, but we're spending so much time now in front of screens. And there's, there's a place for that, there's use, a use, use for them, and they do help us connect with information, but they're not so good at helping us connect more deeply with our hearts and, and with other people. And so what do you think that's going to happen down the road? Um, because now everything is done in short little spurts on the phone. Uh, conversation is, you, you know, you place a phone call and you go, oh, I hope they're not there, I'll just leave a voicemail. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's things like that. It's true. Yeah. You know, or I'll just email yeah. them. Right. And we've gotten to that point yeah. where we, we don't want to connect. I think the tide is turning, actually. I'm, I'm seeing a, a new wave of younger people more and more interested in connecting more deeply with people. So I'm actually very hopeful. And so um, if, if somebody, you know, first of all, they have to initiate it from inside to say, you know, I want to change this and I do not want to be that person who is just glued to the phone yes. or the iPad. Right. Um, so how do you get to that point? You got to that point. Yeah, right. Well, I, um, how did I do it? I just realized, well, well, you know, here's what happened. I started noticing really happy people all around me and I got curious and I asked them questions and it snowballed into this whole project. Well, so that's, that's what I did. It's called Full Heart Living, and um, you can talk to Tom this Wednesday at Eisenhower. And it's whereabouts on the campus? It's 2 p.m. at the Annenberg Auditorium All right, good. on Wednesday. Thank you for being here. Oh, thanks for having yeah, me. Yeah, appreciate it.